epic. Epic. A 5K camera. Yeah, yeah. It's huge. It is huge. It's 5K huge. 5K is huge. That's and, huge. And what's interesting is that it's actually, from a physical standpoint, less huge than the Red One. Very which is tiny. Cool. Yeah. And the Red One ain't that huge. Ain't the Red that One big. is pretty small. Yeah. Um, so it's six pounds. It's targeted to be smaller than the Red One. The Red yeah. One came in at about 10 pounds, which okay. is so glorious for right. handheld guys, steady cam guys. This Absolutely. is a 4K camera, Absolutely. not an HD camera. Yeah. Right? So 10 pounds, the steady, steady cam guys are my best friends. Yeah. But at six pounds, they're my new uncle. Yeah. You know? they're, <laughs> they're moving right. in. At that point, they're, they're just moving, moving in. They're, the moving, the they're moving in. Yeah, they're, they're moving in. in. They're, they're standing in the pool yeah. Yeah. Um, It's pretty, pretty damn cool. That's um, fantastic. And, and it's, you know, if you look at what Epic is, Epic is, if you look at the Red One, the Red One's our first crack at building our camera. First time out of the gate. I, I think, you know, unabashedly, I'll say we did a pretty damn good Absolutely. job. Absolutely. Yeah, is recognized. it perfect? No, it is not perfect. Does it need more work in certain areas? Of course it does. First time out of the gate, right? And we're only two years into it. And Red One is still going to keep evolving. So people that own a Red One have nothing to fear. It's not like we're stopping development on the Red One. We're working on Red One, just as like we're always worked on Red One. Um, but Epic is all the things we learned about how can we make it better? You know, if you look at the Mac you owned 10 years ago versus right. the Mac you own today, it gets better. And you're not mad that the Mac from 10 years ago doesn't work as good or it might be, you know. The Mac from six different. months ago doesn't right, work yeah, as good as the Mac right, yeah, right, Exactly. Right, right. So that's, that's where all this sits, right, in the evolution of things. Super cool. The, it's the next generation Mysterium sensor. That's actually both in Scarlet and in Epic, just the different mm -hmm. variety of it. But the Epic is a full frame, 35 millimeter sensor, used PL mount glass. We announced our own, you know, well, showing the lenses now, the, the prime lenses. People got a chance to see them. Super pro grade and the new 18 to 85, which is just the badass lens of all time. People are just going to love it. So what makes the ne next generation Mysterium? I know it has the word Mysterium, so it's mysterious. Yeah, but yeah. What, what is, what, why is it next gen? Well, you'll find out over time. You okay. know, this, we'll, we'll talk about how these advancements happen. Okay. But you can pretty much know that um, we're always working on increasing dynamic range and latitude. And we're always working on effective sensitivity, noise characteristics. This is a constant uh, state of our development. We never stop doing that. So all of those things will play into that world. So can you state possibly a new ASA rating or in not, not stops yet. of latitude? Not we yet. don't know yet. Not yet. Okay. And is there a new red code codec to go along with? There is. The, that, um, yes, thanks for reminding yeah. me. Yes, so the, the, the red one, which obviously you've seen pictures of, and it's glorious, and uh, people probably, some people know that we did a a, a higher bit rate um, red code just recently. We go there's red code 28 standard red code, and then there's if you need it, you go to 36, which is shots that may be tough to compress moving leaves on a windy, you know, Chicago lake kind of day. Every frame is dynamically different than the frame before and after. You want a little bit um, less compression, it helps yeah. make the images look totally pristine. You guys have seen the reel, of course, in 4K. Yeah, it's amazing. And at 36 or 28, it's still stunning. I mean, you, yeah. know, you cannot see, it's visually lost. It's, However, as we evolve, we see reasons and advantages to go even higher on the bit rate, which means lower on the compression. So higher bit rate equals lower, lower compression, compression ratio. Right. Um, so the Epic is designed to go up to 100 megabytes a second, whereas wow. the Red 100 one, megabytes, per not, megabits. Megabits. not megabits. 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 It's very important to note that. Megabits is kind of in the HD yeah, floating range, absolutely. right? That's a very the common for variant for that kind of stuff. We're much, much larger than that in terms of our compression scheme effectiveness. So 100 megabytes a second versus around 30 to 35 megabytes a second for the Red One. And the Red One's already glorious at 35. So yeah. imagine what we're going to do at 100. So what, where are you laying down this 100 megabytes per second? Is uh, compact flash still? Or yet what? to be determined. Yet to be determined. Um, but it will be some, it, you know, we're going to see it evolving, compact flash, flash-based media. You're going to see that that's all going to come. That's but a compact lot flash of will definitely still be an option on Epic because it's so wonderful to use compact flash. Form factor, you know, these are little mini digital film mags, right? right? right. And that, that's the storage business is obviously, the, the solid state storage business evolves at light speed. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to watch that evolve over the next year, which is great.